Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD Crash Course for Beginners. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the solvent accessible surface area of a protein trajectory resulted from a molecular dynamic simulation using VMD. So before I go to VMD, I want to discuss the meaning of the solvent accessible surface area. The idea from the definition, it's the surface area that is in contact with the solvent around the molecule, uh, whatever it's a protein or peptide. So if, if you look at this image, you will understand the definition. It's the, the, the surface area of, that, of this protein, which is in contact with the solvent around. How do they calculate it? The idea is they prop the Van der Waals surface of the protein using a solvent molecule, say water, mostly water. So say this is a water molecule, I will prop the surface and go around the globular structure of the protein and I will follow the path of the center of my molecule. Uh, like, say it's a water, I will consider water as a sphere. So the path of the sphere will give me the solvent accessible surface area of, a, of the protein. So you can read more about this in the computational chemistry books. But uh, as a chemist or as a biochemist, why I'm concerned with the solvent accessible surface area of my protein, the answer is, to check the stability of your protein. The highly stable or the folded structure of, uh, of a protein will have a solvent accessible surface area. What do you think, higher or less? Have less accessible surface area. But the unfolded or less stable structure is gonna have higher solvent accessible surface area. So the higher the cells are, the lower the stability. So let's go to VMD and check which script we're gonna use. Here it is, yeah, sasa.tcl. You know that most of the scripts are written in TCL syntax. So before we run the, the, the script, I want to uh, inspect it with you because it's simple to understand what's happening. Uh, this script, I didn't write it. It's written by, by those people and it explained to you what, what, what it does. So it, say, it says here that this script is a quick and easy to provide a procedure for computing the solvent accessible surface area of a protein. And the good thing, it allows you to select a region of the protein. So you can say from res ID 50, ID 55, whatever. Okay. So here the, uh, the, the beginning of a script, it will, this part will show you the selection that will enable you to select. Then it will, uh, yeah, this is for the selection and have to, uh, this is the output file. And here's a loop because we're gonna work with trajectory which contains multiple frames. So it's not uh, an X-ray structure. And it will say to you that it is done and uh, etc. So it's, it's simple. I mean, if you are not uh, good with TCL, it's easy to understand. Puts here will give you an, a new line says selection. So you're going to write your selection. And here your atom select, your selection mode, and here the top protein, and it gets a number of frames, etc. It's, it's, it's very easy. But every time before you run a script, you should inspect it. Even if you are not a programmer, even if you are not TCL programmer, you should understand what's going on in your, in your script. I have a course trajectory. It's a 14 frames because uh, you know, uh, in real life you're gonna calculate the SAS analysis for many frames. But since I'm working now with Windows to record this video, so I have to use very very short trajectory because VMD crashes with multiple with many frames in Windows. Uh, here's my PCF and I go to get my trajectory. It's HS yes the DCD. I will load it. Yeah, it's 14 frames of a protein in the solvent. So we go to extensions and go to TK console and I will say source my DASA to TCL and I hit enter. It will ask me the selection. And, uh, and if you remember, this was the, uh, this part. If your word says selection, then you, you, you write your select mode. So it's easy to understand there, even if you're not a programmer. So I will say protein, I will hit enter, and it will say progress, yeah? It will calculate. It's here, yeah? It says uh, the, the, the progress yeah? from here, yeah? 
progress and we'll, let's we'll go one by one. So since it's very short uh, trajectory, 14 frames, so it's calculated it easily and it's the output file is SASA protein, do that and it's done. So let's close VMD and see what's happening. Yeah, here's my output. Number of frames and the solvent accessible surface area. It's a huge number because uh, it's for all the protein. So this is an angstrom squared. And you're going to plot it against the, the time correspond to these frames. And you're going to get a nice graph for the SESA. And then you say whatever your protein is more exposed to solvent or, or not. So I was using, my, again, I was using, um, I mean, a very short frame because I said uh, that when the VMD crashes in Windows, but you may go to using VMD in another operating system like Linux. And here's a video on how to install VMD in Linux. And thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Me if I if I make mistakes in these videos because I, I'm learning with you. So see you and let's keep learning.